Dr. Ogborn Duke Butler, Jr., one of the foremost animal agriculture leaders of the 20th century, helped animal husbandry become animal science. He grew up on a ranch in Orange, Texas, and began his studies at Texas A&M in 1935 at age 16. He was a leader in the Corps of Cadets and worked at the College Livestock Facility, where he soon realized that he wanted to study animal husbandry. He also worked as a janitor in the administration building, where he would one day have an office as Associate Deputy Chancellor for Agriculture. After graduating from Texas A&M with a bachelor's degree in 1939, he became steward of the new Duncan Dining Hall, then the largest food service facility of its kind in the nation. O.D. joined the military in 1941 after the attack on Pearl Harbor. He fought in the European theater, beginning a career in which he rose to the rank of Brigadier General by the time he retired from the U.S. Army Reserves in 1977. After his active military duty, he returned to Texas A&M. He earned his master's degree in 1947 and then began teaching and coaching the A&M Meat Judging Team. Soon after receiving his doctorate at Michigan State University in 1953, he came back to Texas A&M as a professor of animal husbandry. Dr. Butler was named department head in 1956. Under his 22 years of leadership, the department became one of the top ranked in the nation. In 1978, he was appointed Associate Vice President for Agriculture and Renewable Resources. And in 1980, he became Associate Deputy Chancellor, a key statewide position that he held until his retirement in 1986. Emeritus Professor and Administrator Dr. Zerl Carpenter says, Dr. Butler selflessly served animal science and the citizens of Texas and mentored faculty and staff to achieve excellence in teaching, research, and extension. Dr. Butler placed equal importance on these three cornerstones of the land-grant mission. He was a driving force in establishing the statewide research and extension centers and obtaining funding for extension livestock specialist positions. His research contributed to major advancements in beef cattle production, including crossbreeding for increased productivity, the eradication and control of brucellosis and screwworm, and beef yield grading. He helped develop a cattle feeding industry in Texas and establish the scientific basis for regulating antibiotics, hormones, and chemicals in animal agriculture. And he used his influence to gain passage of the Texas Beef Checkoff Program, which many thought couldn't be done. Dr. Butler was instrumental in creating the Texas A&M Veterinary Medical Diagnostic Lab and several producer organizations, as well as the Texas State 4-H Horse Show. He helped establish the Clayburg Animal and Food Sciences Center, the Freeman Equestrian Center, the Pierce Pavilion, the Rosenthal Meat Center, and the Animal Science Teaching, Research, and Extension Center, which was named the O.D. Butler Jr. Animal Science Complex in 2005. Dr. Butler recognized the importance of reproductive science, biotechnology, and genetics in animal agriculture. The O.D. Butler Chair in Animal Science, now held by Dr. Fuller Baser, Distinguished Professor, was established to carry on this research in his honor. Dr. Larry Bullman, Texas A&M AgriLife Associate Vice Chancellor and Special Assistant to the President, gets to the heart of Dr. Butler's impact on agriculture when he says, when one's deeds and accomplishments live far beyond the individual's contemporary accolades and awards, that person has a lasting legacy and influences generations to come. And so it is for Dr. O.D. Butler. Dr. Butler died in 1998. He and his wife, Jane Gray Butler, who died in 2006, were dedicated to the Bryan College Station community, where they owned and operated a purebred Charolais ranch. The Butlers have a daughter, Jan, two sons, Duke and Jim, and several grandchildren and great-grandchildren. We are proud and honored to induct Dr. O.D. Butler, Jr. into the Animal Science Hall of Fame.